in YouTube macking on with another pickups video. I just want to show you what I've picked up uh, so far in October. Um, although a few of these, these first few, um, are from September. Um, but it took them so long to get here. They, they only arrived a few days ago, and uh, so I did manage to get them in the uh, last September pickup video. And then we start off with Saw 6. I haven't seen this one yet. Um, like I mentioned in my last video, Saw 5 was the last one of these that I saw. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, yeah, so the last two as yet I have managed to see. Uh, I've got all the others apart from the last one now. Which I'm like a, I say I'm hoping to get before the end of October so I can sit through watch them all. Then we have Buried. Um, this is a HMV exclusive with a slip cover which contains a, I think it's a, another movie which I've never actually heard of um, as a special feature which I don't think is on the, the, uh, the non-special edition if you like version of the film. Um, yeah, uh, check that out. Then I got Fistful of Dollars on Blu-ray. Oh, this was um, this was cheap. I think it was one ninety nine on eBay, um, but it was marked as uh, used, and it got here. It was factory sealed, so I was uh, very happy about that. I love these uh, the Sergio Leone movies. Um, this a few dollars more and the Good by the Ugly. Uh, these two I don't have yet, although I have seen them all numerous times, but uh, not in high definition as yet. Then we have a, a DVD steel book of Source Code. This is a fantastic film. Uh, I've seen it several times and uh, we'll be watching it again very soon. Uh, and finally from the September haul uh, Mythbusters Christmas Special. This is a, an Australian release. Um, I don't think I've ever seen any Mythbusters uh, DVDs released in the UK. I could be wrong about that, but I've, I've certainly never seen them. Not that I've actively looked for them, but uh, I normally just watch them here and there when they're on telly. But uh, this was cheap and it's Christmas special. Um, and I do like the Mythbusters, so yeah, I'll check this out close to Christmas. Okay. Uh, and now on to what I've got in October. Uh, so next, um, part of Amazon's uh, part of Amazon's two for ten pound range. They've uh, recently added two new titles that uh, I thought I had to get. So we have the Arrow release of The Voices. Um, watch the trailer for this. It looks really really good and uh, actually quite funny. Um, I've not actually watched it yet, but. Uh, yeah, certainly did that scene. It looks uh, looks good. And then another Arrow release, um, the Delta Force. Um, now I could have sworn I'd seen this movie, um, as it turns out. Um, I watched it the day it arrived. Really, really enjoyed it, but uh, don't remember a thing about it. So I think the the movie that I thought was this was must have been something completely different. But uh, yeah, Chuck Norris. Really, 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 really good. Definite uh, for a fiver. Definitely worth getting. Uh, and then the entertainment store at Rakuten, which is what used to be Play.com, and has gone really, really downhill since the days of Play.com. But they were celebrating their first year, and. Uh, the entertainment store had a sale, steelbook sale, so I picked up for five ninety nine, two guns. Again, this is a film that, uh, from the trailer, looks uh, it looks okay. So I thought for you know for six quid, it's got to be it's got to be worth a go. And then one steelbook that I never really intended on buying, uh, The Walking Dead. Season 3. I did get seasons 1 and 2 as Christmas presents a couple of years ago. And I do love 
really, really like The Walking Dead. Uh, but when this came out, I mean, for one, it's a jumbo steelbook, which I'm not overly fussed on. Um, as much as I like steelbooks, the jumbo ones, yeah, not so much. But also, this was, I think, thirty-seven ninety-nine on release, and was pretty much at that price ever since then. And it, it was just too much. Um, but they had it on sale for eleven ninety-nine, and eleven ninety-nine, I was more than happy to pick it up. Um, also last weekend, uh, Network TV had a sale. Um, of course, Network TV probably or pretty much exclusively sell content from ITV, mostly TV shows, but some movies. And um, with it being uh, ITV's 60th anniversary, they had a 60% sale, 60% off sale. Uh, and I could have spent hundreds on the. The stuff that I had, but uh, of course I didn't have hundreds to spend, so I just cherry picked the 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 things that I really wanted. So on Blu-ray, I picked up The Professionals, season two. This was marked down to, um, I believe, just over eleven pounds, which <laughs> is a bargain. Uh, I love The Professionals. I, I, I have, I think, three of the four series on DVD, but the I have the first series also on Blu-ray. Um, series 4 hasn't been released yet on Blu-ray. I think Series 3 has come out recently, but uh, I shall wait for a price drop on that before I uh, get that one. Then I got uh, on Blu-ray Robin of Sherwood, the complete first and second series. Um, I remember this, this show from Back in the 80s when it was uh, first aired on ITV, it was, at the time, it was my favourite programme. Uh, and I have seen that episodes on Sky, I mean, probably not for 15, 20 years maybe. So this is a bit of a nostalgia trip. Uh, the next one, Complete Series 3 of Robin of Sherwood. Again, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting back into those. Um, and also from Network, I got Beat the Carrot. This is a, a very early 80s Jasper Carrot live show. Um, one that I've seen before a long time ago and uh, watched it uh, a few nights ago. And uh, it was just as funny now as it was when I saw it way back in the 80s. Brilliant. Uh, and the Dangerous Brothers, Danger Vision. This was only two pounds, as, as as the Jasper Carrot one was only two pounds as well from Network. But I don't remember an awful lot of the Dangerous Brothers, um, but it's Rick Mail and Adrian Edmondson, and they're always really good. I mean, I, I seem to remember it was very similar, although it came out long before, but very similar to Bottom. Uh, similar characters, um, so yeah, hopefully it'll be as funny as I remember it. Uh, then a few eBay pickups, uh, some more shameless releases. I uh, picked up Footprints on the Moon, which is spine number 20. Baba Yaga, which is spine number 13, no, 19, and what have they done to your daughters, and that is spine number 13, and then some uh, shop pickups from CEX. Rock Scroll. <laughs> don't know anything about this. It was Tempe. It's Gene Simmons. I don't know. Well, it's it's got to be worth looking at. Uh, and then another series of Peep Show. This is series two for 25p. Another one to add to my collection. And then Saw 3. 
I have Saw 3 on DVD and I think I've got it on uh, HD DVD as well but for a quid to add to my Blu-ray collection that was a no-brainer I had to pick it up and then some charity shop pickups for 99p only fools and horses sleepless in Peckham and again 99p only fools and horses well flush Blu-ray, Twilight Breaking Dawn, that was £1.50, and then I kind of made a boo-boo on this one, this is uh, Mistresses, brand new and sealed, series one, it was a pound, um, when I picked it up thinking it was something completely different, um, the show that I was thinking of when I looked at this is actually a show called Widows. I don't know how, how or why I got them mixed up, but uh, when I got home and I, I looked properly and I thought that, that doesn't sound like the show I remember, and I eventually found it online. Um, so I don't know whether I'll get around to watching it or when I'll get around to watching it, but uh, a little bit disappointed with that. Uh, and another Scooby-Doo to add to my collection Scooby-Doo Mask of the Blue Falcon um, I think this is quite a recent one because it's, uh, it comes with a ultraviolet which was still valid which is always a bonus again that was only a quid uh, and finally a couple of Granger games pickups Fright Night this is the original 1980s version with Roddy McDowell and Chris Sarandon. Um, a bit of comedy horror this one, I think, from what I remember. Uh, I haven't seen the remake, but I think the remake's a little more, a little more serious than this. But uh, yeah, I'll be watching this very soon. Uh, then we're up to Halloween. And finally, I've got Merlin, the complete first series. Um, I think I mentioned in my last video. Um, I picked up part of the series five of Merlin. I've never actually watched any of these because I missed the first series when it was on the telly. Oh. And uh, yeah, I missed the first series when it was on the telly. And uh, by the time I kind of it got on my radar, it was it was past the first series, and I didn't really want to start watching it midway through a, a later series. Um, and it's only recently that I've picked them up. Well, I say I picked them up, I've only got one full series, which is this one, and half of what I think is the last series. Um, but do I watch this now, or do I wait until I've got some more? I don't know. I'll probably uh, watch the first couple of episodes and see how much I enjoy it. Anyway, that's uh, all my pickups for the last two weeks I guess it will run to two weeks uh, yeah so thanks very much uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you or speak to you again next time cheers